Greetings, Sekiro Guru here, and here are 10 crazy mods by 10 crazy modders. At number 10, we have Tofu Mode by Forsaken Silver. Become Ninja Tofu and put all the other Resident Evil Tofus to shame with your Shinobi ability. Just be careful not to slice and dice yourself into little cubes of tasty bean curd. Become delicious to the enemies of Sekiro. At number 9 we have the Metal Gear Solid Alert Sound by Zully the Witch. If you prefer being a stealthy ninja, then you might want to check this one out. It features that classic sound from Metal Gear, and it even includes the exclamation point graphic above the enemy's heads. Not that your ninja in this game is particularly good at stealth, so you'll probably hear it go off a lot. At number 8 is the Rainbow Wolf by Jello Royston. Become the most colorful ninja there ever was and also the biggest eyesore in Sengoku, Japan. Maybe your enemies will laugh themselves to death at the sight of you. You'll be Eddie Sekiro in his Technicolor dream coat. You'll close your eyes and draw back the cut. But number seven, it's everybody's favorite train, Thomas the Snake Engine by Catalash. Scarier and deadlier than any snake could ever dream to be. Don't be fooled by the gentle whistle he makes. Thomas will hunt you down and destroy you, and smile at you while he does it. This is the modder's idea of a comedy mod. Thomas pops up in many games, as modders don't have a very buried sense of humor. But for people with a snake phobia, this might be a good mod to replace it. With the added bonus of it being law friendly too. At number six we have the classic big head mode by Zully the Witch. Turn Genichiro and most other NPCs into er heads. Don't laugh at them too much though, because it also affects you. It makes for some amusing cutscenes, but thankfully it doesn't affect the combat or your sword play. If it did, the hitbox on your head would be ginormous. And you'd be in trouble, wouldn't you? Why their eyeballs are hanging out, I don't know. Maybe it's the increase in gravity from all that melon head. At number five, we have the Bloodborne Nightmare Pack by Apollo Who. Become many of the monstrous creations from Bloodborne, including Ludwig and the Orphan of Koss. There's 11 in total. Maybe you'll scare the enemies to death. Or maybe you won't be able to see where you're going and constantly fall off cliffs. Just don't count on those wings to help you as they're just for show. At number four, we have the 27 hour Puppeteer Ninjutsu by Jello Royston. Create your own army of chickens and bandits. They'll follow you loyally through the level, doing the dirty work for you, and you don't have to worry about it running out thanks to the 27 hour time. There's an option for it to cost no spirit emblems too, so you can create as many followers as possible. Just don't get in the way of them, they'll take you out as well. But the cheating enemies of Sekiro deserve this. They spend the whole game ganking you, now it's your revenge. At number three we have Enemies Die Twice by Luke Wee. If you think it's unfair that you get to come back to life when your enemies don't, then this is the mod for you. Make the game twice as hard and twice as tedious as you watch every enemy rise from their grave when you kill them. If you're totally insane, you can give them more than two health bars. And it's only capped at 255, but if you're an arrogant tryhard, when do you take it on? See how much man you are then. It'll probably only take you about a year to beat it. If you're craving that extra challenge, try it now. Number two, we have the costume pack mod by Zully the Witch. Change into the various characters in the game, including Emma, Genichiro, and the Deadly Rooster. Become a Ninja Lizard, or a Ninja Rooster. There's 25 in total, so you're bound to find something you like. And if you don't, then you're a fairly fussy bastard, so stop being awkward. Confuse the enemies into not knowing who's friend or foe. And at number one, we have Shrek the Ogre, by Drop Off and Catalash. He's big, he's green, and he's more terrifying than the Ogre could ever be. He still has all the same weaknesses, however, such as fire, and a sword to the face. Personally, I've always hated Shrek, so I'll enjoy killing him even more than the ogre. Subscribe for more mod vids, boss guides, and secrets, and click the link at the end of the video for a rage playthrough. Kick him! Bye! Robert's not coming to save you now! You can't!
Get out of there, ninja! Shoop! Yeah! 